This time of year, Hollywood often releases movies with award potential, but Washington is also getting in on the action. This morning, the Library of Congress announced the latest films to be honored with an official spot in American cinematic history. Bill Plant shows us which movies made the final cut. Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. Among this year's selections, the whimsy of everyone's favorite singing British nanny, captured in 1964's Mary Poppins. It's super califragilistic, expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. And the fascination with spaceflight and American heroes in the 1983 movie The Right Stuff. You wouldn't mind if we had the press over here take a few photos of us by our spacecraft now, would you? This year's additions to the National Film Registry bring to 625, the total number of films that the library has put on its list since its beginning in 1989. They honor movies of historical, cultural, or aesthetic importance to American cinema. It really is looking back over the incredibly diverse history of motion picture production in the United States in all of its forms. The library not only recognizes movies of significance, it works to preserve them as well. At the Library of Congress's Audio and Visual Conservation Facility in Culpeper, Virginia, archivists maintain a collection of 750,000 films in vast temperature controlled vaults. And technicians examine film dating back a century in an effort to preserve it for future generations. All that in addition to making the annual selections worthy of inclusion on the National Film Registry. They represent not only what we watched or enjoyed, but what our aspirations were, what our dreams were. They represent the best of us, they represent the worst of us. The worst of us? Perhaps this pair of hitmen in 1994's Pulp Fiction. And how long do you intend to walk the earth? Until God puts me where he wants me to be. A John Travolta and Uma Thurman dancing the twist is one of the iconic movie scenes of a generation. One among many that the Library of Congress believes should be preserved for future generations. For CBS This Morning, Bill Plant, Washington.